There's four types of families that you're gonna see at Disney World. Okay? I'm very excited to tell you about them. Now don't get me wrong, all right? Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of people there, so you're gonna see other types. But this, these are the pillars. They're not Rushmore, if you will, what you're gonna see at Disney World, okay? <clears throat> Number one is the newlyweds. These are the people that are still happy. <laughs> I don't got any kids. Got the matching Mickey shirt and the matching Mickey ears together. They got so much time to wait in the giant line to get a picture with the castle right in front. When they get there to take a the picture, they do a pose like this. They got so much time and energy that they vlog the entire trip. I'm like, what? Well, you got that. Give me some of that time, man. That's number one. Number two is a young family of four. This isn't their last name, okay? This is, say, the 35 to 36 year old parents with two kids that are eight and younger, right? Everybody still has the matching Mickey shirt and matching ears on, except the dad. <laughs> <laughs> Closest thing the dad gets to buying in the family fun is having a t-shirt that says something like broke or <laughs> most expensive trip ever, Disney falling on it. The two kids who should definitely be walking or trying to get in the stroller, he's pissed. <laughs> You're eight years old, I had to put this thing together, I forgot the damn diaper bag, you're eight, you know how to walk. <laughs> the tension is growing. That's number two. Number three, it's the most difficult test yet. Number three is the middle age family of four. This is the 46 plus year old parents bringing their two teenage kids down to the most magical place on earth <laughs> and attempt to save the family. <laughs> and most definitely their marriage. <laughs> Everyone is pissed. see these people sitting on the bus, the parents are on opposite sides like this. <laughs> Two kids are sitting there, haven't looked up from their phone. One definitely, probably both of them has headphones in. No one's saying a word. The only time that this family talks to each other is when they're bitching about how much something costs. No lie, we saw one of these family of fours on the bus earlier in the week, me and my wife and my son. Then later in the week, they're staying at the same resort as us. We're walking past them, and the dad is out front, just absolutely on a mission. <laughs> Mom's a little bit behind him, also pissed. Two kids are just kind of dragging their feet like Eeyore, walking side by side next to the parents. And the mom is just giving it to the dad, right? She's in his ear. She's like, $500? What do you mean $500? We didn't agree to $500. Why'd you tell him $500? And the dad just stops and just goes, what do you have to ridicule every effing thing I say? <laughs> the two kids behind him kind of look at each other like, this is the year for two Christmases. <laughs> we were waiting for a while, but Disney World finally did them in. Kind of fist bump each other. You know? <laughs> that is the toughest test right there. But I did have to give credit to the dad for not actually dropping the F-bomb in that situation. You have, you have to reserve that at Disney World for something more important. Like, a Dr. Pepper costs 13 fucking dollars? <laughs> water, water, water. Water's all around. That's number three. Number four. This is 
the gold standard. <laughs> this is what we all strive to be eventually, all right? This is Gold Jacket Hall of Fame. They wear gold jackets in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> <laughs> And I love the hat. I'm glad you're here. I'm just trying to, you know, make sure that we're all good. It's the Hall of Fame of families, right? This is the old couple. That, or they didn't make it past number three, so this is their second marriage. <laughs> but regardless, these people are here. The matching Mickey shirt and the matching ears are back. They're having the time of their retired lives. They're not even riding rides. They're just like walking around, just happy to be there and not having to deal with the shit that they had to deal with and watching everybody else deal with it. Just sitting there with their ice cream cones, having a great old time like it's the last scene of the movie, Up. <laughs> Tearjerker, I know. 